Hey guys, this is the Fender Mustang GTX 50. Uh, this is a um, pretty affordable entry-level Fender guitar amp and uh, it's a modeling amp so it's good for uh, beginner guitarists and it's also good for uh, other guitarists who wants to you know have a lot of features and something pretty light and compact and, uh, and affordable. So this costs $400 US uh, so again it is a pretty affordable amp. Um, it is a solid state amp of course because it's a modeling amp and um, yeah I just want to go over you know some of the features here and demo some of it. Uh, this is actually not my amp it's my friend's amp. Um, and I told him I might actually do a review <laughs> for his amp because uh, he lent it to me. So I figured, you know, might as well. Uh, I've, I've never actually tried this amp before. So um, coming from the perspective of, uh, you know, playing for tube amps for a very long time, actually, it's quite similar to my first amp, which is a Vox Valtronics uh, ADX50 or something. Uh, the Vox Valtronics uh, 30 water that I came from. Uh, this is a 50 water, of course. And it also has modeling features just like the Vox Valtronics um, 8030 that I came from when I first started playing guitar. So uh, it actually kind of reminds me of uh, my my first beginner uh, guitar amp as well, which is also kind of a, a modeling amp that's kind of like this one, about the same size, uh, similar power, and also had modeling features. Anyways, I'm gonna go over this amp, um, all the different features. Uh, and this one does have a lot of features and a lot of different modeled effects and uh, test it out. Um, also, by the way, uh, he has a foot switch here, the Fender GTX-7, which is an extra $100 on top of that. So altogether, if you get the amp itself plus the foot switch, it's going to be like $500 US in total. Again, not a bad price for something uh, like this because you do get a lot of features with this amp. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, first, let's take a look at uh, the controls on top. So we do have the guitar input here, only one. Um, you have the gain, volume, treble, middle, bass. You get the full three band EQ here. Reverb, so it does have built in reverb, which I'm guessing is digital reverb. And uh, master volume control right here. And you also have a little display here. Um, and this is part of the Fender Mustang platform. Fender sells a lot of products under the Mustang name and it's usually uh, modeling effects. So they have a built-in, you know, kind of modeling um, circuit here that can uh, simulate many different amps and effects here. So I'm going to have to test that out. I actually don't know all what's inside of this one. So there's a whole bunch. I'm probably just going to test it out. Uh, the FX button, save, I'm guessing to save a preset, menu button, a tap tempo. You can also hold this one to get a tuner. Pretty cool, and you have an aux in jack and a headphone jack, both 3.5 millimeters. So you can plug in like a um, you know MP3 player or even a laptop, a phone, you know something you want to play backing track from. You can do that, and of course you can practice silently with a headphone. Out. So that's that's pretty cool. All right. So uh, also this amp doesn't weigh a lot. Uh, I think this is only like maybe 20ish something, 20ish pounds. Um, which makes it pretty light for a guitar amp, right? Like 20-ish something pounds is considered fairly light for a guitar amp. So let's take a look at what's on the back. Okay, so this is what we see on the back here. Uh, let's go over it. So we have a power switch right on the back. Um, a little bit inconvenient in my experience. I would prefer to have a power switch on top, but they have it on the back here. Uh, but then again, you know, a lot of higher end amps also have it on the back, so it's fine. Uh, foot switch, you would plug in the foot switch here, the GTX uh, 7. That's where you would use it. A uh, USB, this is a micro USB, uh, not a USB-C unfortunately, but you can use it to connect to your computer, I believe, and then you have access to um, actually all these effects and, and modeled amps and stuff like that. And you can plug it straight into your computer to record into your computer, so that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, that's an additional feature for those of you guys um, who don't uh, necessarily want to just play this as just an amp, but also you know want to have a digital interface as well. You can use the USB. That's pretty cool. Um, made in China, design engineer in the USA. Of course, at this price point, we don't expect it to be made in the USA. We, you know, so made in China seems, uh, yeah, that's that's what we expect for this price. Um, you have line out here. Uh, actually, you have a few different things here. Yeah, you have a line out. It looks like it uses dual XLR connections for that. So that's pretty interesting. So dual line outs, but you have an XLR connection that you can hook up to like a preamp or something. And then, you have an FX send and a FX return. This is for the effects loop. So you'd want to use an effects loop if you want to have an effect, usually a modulation effect, like delay or reverb or chorus, um, 
you want to have that um, after the preamp but before the power amp. So yeah, if you want to plug those in, uh, I think the effects loop is good for usually modulation effects. Or if you have a preamp pedal, um, that could work pretty well as uh, because it will just be a, like a stand-in preamp that goes, you know, really as functions functioning as the the real replacement preamp. So if you have a preamp pedal uh, that you want it to, you know, really function as a real preamp, you would put it in the effects loop. Or if you have a, a, any kind of modulation effect, like a chorus delay or reverb or phaser, then um, or flanger, then uh, you would probably put it in the effects loop because it would probably sound better that way. Uh, it's more natural sounding rather than putting it right all in the front of the amp. And the speaker is a Celestian 7080. Um, so the fact that it comes with a Celestian is pretty cool because Celestian is a pretty well-known brand of guitar speakers. In fact, they're probably the most famous brand of guitar speakers. So it comes stock with a Celestian, it's nice, and uh, this is, uh, I'm guessing, a, a ceramic, um, not Alnico, and it's a 12-inch speaker. So, yeah, 12 inches is uh, generally pretty good. Um, just a general all-around good size. Most of my amps that I've played have been 12-inch amps. That's good enough for a gig, that's good for home practice. It's just a good all-around size for a speaker. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, like I said, it's fairly light. I would say it's probably around, like, yeah, 20 something pounds, which is pretty light for a guitar speaker. So yeah, um, now let's uh, let's test it out. I'm gonna try out all the different effects and stuff and uh, see how good this, this amp is. Okay, I'm also gonna go over the foot switch as well. This is the uh, Fender GTX-7, which sells for $100 by itself. Uh, this is what the foot switch looks like. You plug it into the foot switch connection on the amp. Um, and here are the different uh, switches, what they do. So you bank up, which is uh, go to the next preset, um, go up, and uh, yeah, basically you hold down, you go up to switch to the next bank of effects. Um, you would record using this one, FX1, dub, using this one, FX2, play, FX3, stop, FX4, undo, FX5. And uh, this is going through the different modes. Um, so you can go through presets, effects, and looper. Uh, hold it for the tuner. Um, that's pretty much it, uh, and yeah, this is just a, obviously an easier way to scroll through the different effects on the amp rather than you know going up to the amp and uh, pressing it with your finger. It's a lot easier to hit it with your foot, uh, especially when you're at a gig. So that's mainly what the foot switch is for, um, and uh, yeah, because it has a looper control, you can also um, record your own loops as well. So you can record, dub, uh, play, stop, undo. These are um, all controls for the looper. Uh, normally, actually, the FX1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is just going through different presets of effects. So, yeah, that's basically what the, uh, the foot switch does. Alright, so uh, I've turned the amp on, and really this is what you see here from the display. Um, there is a lot of different presets here. In fact, there's uh, 200 of them. Um, so I'm not going to really demo each one, because that's a lot. Uh, but yeah, all these different presets can be also uh, switched using the foot switch. Um, but I'm just using a little knob here to control it. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not in a live setting like a gig or anything, so the foot switch isn't too necessary for me. I can just use the little knob here since I'm just going to demo it here in this video. So uh, the first setting is crunch, and then you got classic rock, country twang, tweed, uber metal. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to like go over briefly, right, each one. You guys can see there is a lot of different settings here. Each of them have a combination of different amp simulations and different effects built in. So yeah, again, I'm not going to demo each one, but uh, this is just kind of a... <laughs> this one's called Master of Mullets. That's funny. I'm just going to go over each one a little bit briefly. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of different uh, settings here. Blues, Purple Rain, that might be a Prince setting. Uh, purple Fuzz, I wonder if that's the Jimi Hendrix Purple Haze setting. Um, one of these nights, is that Eagles reference? Yeah. Loving Spoonful. Um, sustain. My Harmony, Pond King, Pigs Can Fly. Yeah, so many different settings here. School's Out, that's Alice Cooper, right? School's Out. Derek Champ, 65 Twin, that's a classic amp. For Cleans, Princeton Reverb, Deluxe Reverb. Champ Honk, Deluxe, Twin, Bassman, Bandmaster, Brown, Super Reverb, Vibro King, Excelsior, Jazz Chorus, uh, Roland Jazz Chorus, like, uh, British 60s Pop, 60s, 70s Rock. But yeah, some of these, um, I'm guessing like the 60s Pop might be Vox, and the 70s Rock is probably Marshall Plexi, 80s Rock Stack, 
that's JCM 800, I guess. 90s box stock JCM 900. This is maybe Mezaboogie or something with Soldano. Yeah, Silver Jubilee. No, yeah, maybe that's one. Base breaker. So let's see. Delay phaser. Shimmer. Tremolo. Octaver. Lattice leads. Lead at Evil Basement. Angry Rodent. Oh, this might this must be a Proco Rat, right? Solo, Baritone, Doomham. And each of these have really like different gain settings as well, so I really have to, you know, play around my guitar on the volume as well for these. Dirty Champ, Bolero, between, uh, let's see, Black Hole, Sleep Alive. Yeah, there is a lot of settings here. Um, oh, this is Black Magic Woman by Carlos Santana. This is Baby Jeff Beck. There's one called Bolero, which I think is a Jeff Beck reference. That's a Carlos Santana thing. Then you got Funk, Double Track, Dirty Jazz, Eric Johnson, Cliffs of Dover setting right here. Early Eddie Van Halen, Experience, that's Jimi Hendrix. Get Lucky, is that Daft Punk? <laughs> Alan Holdsworth, Roots, The Roots, um, oh, John Schofield, Rock Candy, Take Me Alive, Your Mom. Barracuda is at a heart reference. 70s by mid boost rocks with fly plus. I don't know what Octobot is. Single scoop, metal lead delay, breaker drive, flutter, space force, with the charge beat. Princeton solo, man. Being a fuzzy memory foam. Yeah, I mean, let's see. I gain lead. Bridge of Size, that's a Robin Trower reference, I'm guessing. Metalcore picks the space out. Teaser, Gospel. Steve Ray Vaughan. Jubilee. I'm guessing this is a Slash reference, Wild Lead. That's uh, for a sweet child of mine. Because I know Slash plays uh, Marshall Ju Jubilee. Silver, I think, Jubilee. Hair Metal. Aussie Rock. I guess this is ACDC, right? Aussie Rock. Stand the Weather, is that Steve Ray Vaughan again? Stan, <laughs> Stan, yeah, this is uh, Larry Carlton probably, actually, if you're talking about Steely Dan. The Pot, yeah, ZZ Top here, since this is this setting's called ZZ Bottom, it's obviously a reference to ZZ Top. Playing with Joe, that is that Joe Walsh, National Blues, Hot Wire. Carry On Wayward Sun, that's uh, Credence Clearwater Revival, I think. Steve Ray Vaughan again. Lagrange is another ZZ Top reference. Hey Joe, that's a Jimi Hendrix one. 65 tuner modified and empty one. This is for recording, putting your own presets. That's it, that's 200. So yeah, I'm gonna check out some of these and uh, yeah, just gonna demo some of these. Not all of them, of course, just gonna go through some of them and see uh, what I think. All right, uh, so right now I have the Fender Mustang GTX 50 um, all turned on and set up. And I have the EQ settings uh, for the gain. I'm having it set to about um, 9 o'clock. And then for the volume, also sitting about 9 o'clock. I don't want to be too loud because I'm in an apartment right now and it's shared. So uh, yeah, it can't be too loud, unfortunately. So uh, for some of the, the gainier settings, I can't really show off too much of it, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm in an apartment right now, can't be too loud. Uh, Free band EQ. Um, I have bass, mid, and treble all set to 12 o'clock. And uh, reverb, I'm also setting to about 12 o'clock. Master set to about 9. And uh, the rest I'm just going to control on my guitar here. So this is a Super Hampton. Um, so this is not like a really con common or popular guitar, but I thought it's a nice guitar to use. And uh, these got three uh, unique gold foil pickups here, which produce a pretty clear tone, uh, in my opinion. They sound kind of like a fatter version of the Fender single coils. So if you guys think of the, Strato Cla the Stratocaster, right? The classic uh, Fender Stratocaster single coils, these are like, you know, a little bit fatter versions of those. Um, they got a more clarity than a typical P90 or anything, but uh, definitely fatter than um, the Stratocaster single coil, but not uh, quite as dark sounding as a P90 pickup. So anyways, these have a decent amount of clarity to them. So I'm gonna use this guitar uh, with these pickups, which I think are pretty nice. All right, um, so I'm just gonna go over each setting here. All right, so I'm gonna turn up my volume. So first, I'm on the first setting here. This is the crunch setting. So uh, again, I can't turn it up too loud, but uh, I'm on the neck. I can, this is a five-way pickup selector, so I can go with 
has basically all the uh, same combinations you'll find on a Stratocaster. So this is the crunch setting. Again, I can't turn it up too loud, but this is what the crunch setting sounds like. I'm going to turn down the reverb a little bit. It's a little bit check. setting. That's just the first setting, classic rock setting. It's definitely a cleaner setting. At the same time, you guys can see like these Gold foil pickups do have a lot of clarity to them, so pretty nice. Alright, classic rock. Country twang. Sounds like a Telecaster, doesn't it? Uh, playing a Telecaster. Good guy, got that twang. Tweed sugar. Let's try this one. Champ. Oh, we're metal. SoCal Punk. This one to me is like a SoCal Punk when I think of like Blink 182 or something. I think of that. Alright. Surf Splash. Oh, should be a lot of reverb on that one. The spring reverb, that is. Surf Blues Junior is like a Fender Blues Junior. This one doesn't have much cane on it. Which I guess makes sense because the blue stringer wasn't a. That's a pretty small amp. Okay. Do you think the blue stringer is about the same size as this one? Sober drive. <laughs> Jubilee or something. Let's see. Blues Breaker with delay. Nope. <laughs> it's a, definitely like a heavier game one. Uh, let's see. This is an acoustic guitar simulator. It has a good acoustic guitar simulator. Oh man. been a fan of acoustic simulators and so not really like... doesn't never really sounds like an acoustic to me anyways yeah let's breathe this one has like a phaser in it or something oh, jazz clean Mullets. Obviously, Metallica reference there. Uh, let's see. Bedroom pop. What's that? Hmm. Chorus. 
chorus, lots of chorus. Don't really like chorus though. Uh, let's see, boosted bird. Purple rain, let's try that one. <laughs> setting. Purple Fuzz, Trey Hendrix. <laughs> yeah, definitely a Jimi Hendrix type of vibe. You know, Marshall super lead. It's a Marshall Plexi sound. Oh, one of these nights. <laughs> That's definitely higher gain setting. Ethereal feel, let's try this. Lots of shimmer in this one. It's cool though. Uh, let's do Derek Champ. Sixty-five twin bigger. to be pretty good because it is Fender. They should be able to know their own amps, right? <laughs> the 65 Princeton now, Weaver. So of a uh, less loud than the twin reverb for sure. Uh, deluxe reverb, 65. <laughs> Seven champ. Mm -hmm. Not cool. Small tweed amp. Then let's try fifty seven deluxe. Fifty seven twin clean. Nine basement. Yeah, usually when people think of tweed tone, they think of the basement. Fifty nine basement. Fifty seven bandmaster. Honestly, pretty similar to the of deluxe reverb or twin reverb. Um, Sixty one brown deluxe. Amp. Super reverb now. Eyebrow King. Yeah, jazz chorus. Cheap silver tone. A silver tone is like kind of like a cheap amp from the 1960s. Actually, silver tone sounds pretty similar to a super amp, I think. British stack, clean. Sounds pretty good. It's like a Marshall, a clean Marshall. Let's do you like the Vox setting. It's like a Vox AC30. Marshall Plexi. So this thing outputs uh, 50 watts, by the way. Yeah. Um, Metal 2000, Soldano. Yeah, 
a lot of settings here, tremolo, reverb, chorus. Try the Proco Rat. <laughs> Dirty Champ. Oh, we did a lot of delay on that one. Bolero, this is a Jeff Beck setting. did play doubles, right? Let's see. Uh, so we got Cliffs of Dover. Is that Eric Johnson? Yeah. Which is uh, kind of like a martial experience. What how this is different than the purple Fuzz setting. Hmm. Let's see, Holdsworth. Could be good high gain setting. Um, it's a Schofield. Vibe. The vibe is 70s vibe. There's a lot of <laughs> stuff in the 70s. All right. Let's see. Breaker Drive 2. <laughs> Princeton solo. Here, Bridge of Size. This is Robin Trower. Nashville Blues. <laughs> 
is either like a Fender Vibro King or a double steel string singer. So it's very clean actually. So it makes sense. It's pretty clean. Lots of high headroom. All right. Lagrange, which is a ZZ top setting. And then uh, the Hey Joe, which is a Hendrix setting. Clean Hendrix setting. Modified. Oh, a lot of low end on that one. That one's very fat, low end. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, that's pretty much it. That's uh, I'm not gonna demo every setting, but uh, that's a lot. I think I'm just gonna go with the classic rock setting. Is pretty good. It's uh, pretty decent for cleans. So we'll go with this one for now.
settings that much because I got to be like quieter but yeah that's pretty much it on the um, classic rock setting which is kind of more of a cleaner setting but uh, I like this amp yeah overall I think, I think for 400 bucks it's a pretty good value I mean as a beginner amp or a practice amp um, or yeah just if you just guys just want like a nice affordable uh, amp that you know can model a lot of uh, different uh, effects and amps you know at a pretty decently I would say and obviously not not exactly the real thing, uh, but they can model it pretty decently, I would say. So it's got a lot of effects on tap. Um, I mean, it varies, you know, the acoustic similarity isn't that great, but yeah, um, obviously not all the models are going to be, you know, some, some are going to be more accurate than others. I would say the Fender models are more or less more accurately modeled than the other models are, but uh, yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty good amp, uh, especially for the price. I mean, for 400 bucks. Yeah, that's a pretty good price for this amp, and it has a, a lot of features. Um, sounds pretty decent. Uh, it's got it's lightweight, um, so it's yeah, it's overall pretty good for uh, practice or even for gigs, because uh, yeah, you can definitely get a lot of sounds out of it. Um, and yeah, like I said, they might not be the most accurate for the non-Fender models, but as for the uh, for the most part, I mean, it's got 200 different presets, right? There's a lot to play around with, and um, most of them sound okay, I guess. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it's got just got like a nice built-in multi-effects unit, and um, yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty good value amp for people who are beginning with guitar or want to have another amp to practice with, or if you just want an amp that has a lot of different models and settings on it, this one has it all built in. So yeah, overall Fender Mustang GTX 50, um, and it's got a decent amount of power on top, 50 watts. Uh, again, 20 something pounds, pretty light, and it's got a Celestian speaker, which is you know pretty good brand for speakers. 
yeah, overall it's pretty good. I would say the cleaner settings are okay, um, and the higher gain settings, yeah, it, it depends on the model, but uh, I would think this one probably does the cleans better, because that's what most of the Fender amps are known for, is for the cleans. Fender doesn't tend to do the, uh, the higher gain stuff as well as other brands, but um, definitely for the cleaner stuff, I think it's, it's uh, yeah, it's doing, it's pretty solid for that, uh, decent, right? <laughs> gain stuff uh, better to put some overdrive or distortion pedals uh, rather than use the the more overdriven presets because I do think that the overdriven presets don't sound as good as the cleaner presets but yeah that's a, I think that's probably what I would do if I had the amp is um, yeah I would probably use some gain or distortion pedals in front of it um, but yeah that's not to say that you know the uh, the high gain presets aren't good they're, they're usable but um, generally I prefer the cleaner presets on the amp um, I can't really demo the higher game presets much anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's overall 400 bucks. It's a pretty good value for what you get. So, so guys, the Mustang GTX uh, 50. I think it's a pretty good beginner amp and a pretty good practice amp. So uh, also good for small gigs and stuff as well. Um, and it's very versatile. It's got a ton of settings, lots of features. And if you combine it with the foot switch, it's pretty much uh, ready for gigs. So, so guys, um, I think it's a pretty good amp uh, for... Uh, yeah, like I said, for practicing or for, for beginners or for uh, small gigs. Yeah, not to mention the fact that you can also hook it up to your computer as well, so you can record direct into your computer. So that's also another uh, really good feature of the amp as well, so it's, it's very versatile, right? If you're a bedroom guitarist, um, definitely a lot of things you can do with it. Uh, or even if you're, you know, you're starting to do some small gigs, perfectly fine for that as well. So, this guy's uh, Mustang GTX uh, 50. Yeah, it's a pretty good value. That's it. Thanks for watching.